Can't hold it that way. It doesn't work otherwise. Okay? Are we ready? Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about knob and tube. We posted a picture this week on Facebook making a joke about knob and tube wiring, and then we had some people post on there saying, okay, we've got knob and tube wiring in my house. How do I deal with it? So obviously the, the, the first answer is you tear it all out and you replace it all with conduit, uh, and, uh, at least if you're in your Chicagoland area, or you can use the white extension cords that Rich uses in Florida and the rest of the country. You rewire the entire house. That's the perfect scenario. The reality is that can get expensive because you're replacing baseboards and casings and plaster, and you're busting a lot of holes in the walls. So mm-hmm. what knob and tube is, is here's your, this, this is your knob right here. This gets nailed. That gets nailed into the, into the stud or into uh, floor joists, and you can see how that separates. And you run your wire through there, and you nail it down, and now your wire is going through that knob. So now that wire is just, that's all that holds it. This insulator holds that so wire. this isn't all chipped. That's supposed to be like yeah, that? Yeah, correct. It is, it's supposed to, that way the wire can pass through that spot, and it holds it in place. Or sometimes they'll actually wrap it around. If they're going to go this direction and then turn and go this way, they'll wrap it around and then turn and go another direction. Now, when you have to pass through a uh, framing member like a floor joist or a stud you have a tube and this tube you can see it's actually a tube so you would drill a hole you slide the tube in there and now the wire can pass through that tube and it's it protects it from moving and it's insul- this insulates it from uh, any nails getting to it or or the wood rubbing the insulation over time so that is the knob that you holds the wire and then the tube that holds the wire thus knob and tube wiring and those wires just run loose Tube goes through the members yes correct correct and that you know the wires are just loose they just run through their they're insulated wires but they just kind of run through the uh through the walls and through the ceilings they're not really protected you go to hang a picture and you or you, you run a long screw through it you could grab those wires and then have have oh, the, like romex yeah, <laughs> yes and then you would actually end up shorting out some wires the other problem with knob and tube it's not grounded so the third prong on your outlet is normally that's where it's grounded in knob and tube wiring you can't have a ground there is no ground for it that's really the part that's unsafe because the breakers can't trip because they don't know that the power's not going where it's supposed to go so it won't overload a, a, um, a breaker or a fuse as well so you really need to have a ground. That's really one of the other major issue with knob and tube wiring. So how do we solve this problem? If you've got a whole house and you've t- taken out one area, but you can't afford to do the whole, the whole house or a section of the house, the area that you can get to, you come up and then you put in a GFI outlet. From that GFI outlet, then you can feed that other knob and tube wiring. So if there's any short, if there's any problem in that knob and tube wiring, that GFI is going to trip. Because it's going to sense whether or not the electricity that's going out on the hot wire is all coming back on the neutral wire. If it, if it finds any discrepancy in that, then it's going to trip and, and cause you know, that circuit to turn off. And that's really the only way to try and make knob and tube wiring safe. So what you do, though, replace it up to that point, put in, knob and, goofy. Put in your GFI, feed your knob and tube wiring, and then as you do a room... You can update that electric and then just keep moving that GFI down that knob and tube circuit until it's all been cleaned up. So that's okay. that's the way to deal with knob and tube wiring. Go ahead, Rich. Cool. Well, I think that's where they like, isn't it? You can Done. use Greenfield, which is flexible conduit to pull it through. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like to replace knob and tube. You can use Greenfield, which is ha- flexible conduit, not BX. Which is metallic, whatever. Right. She just keeps on going. I know. Now you got to grab it away like, from her and turn it off. You know, you know what's happening? No. Why don't you talk into the mic so that people can oh. hear you? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm trying out different things. I can yeah. put little hats on you and stuff. It's very cute. Oh, good. Okay, but here's the thing, Ellen. We are on fifteen ninety. One five nine zero a.m. Yes, yeah, so we still are on that Two right minutes. now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So. Yes. So knob and tube wiring, we posted a picture of that, and you can see where. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, she's having fun. So we posted a picture on Facebook that yes. the knob and tube came through, but then they went to go into a box, and they just kind of shoved it into a piece of greenfield, flexible greenfield, and mm-hmm. then went into the box. So then when you took down the light from no, downstairs, no, no. it looked okay. But when once we cut the that floor doesn't... open, we found out that it wasn't. Well, that doesn't look like a box. It was a... What it was jammed into the back of, it yeah. looked like the a bezel for a bumper light from a car <laughs> no it, if you look at the back of the box it yeah. actually looked like a light box for a car oh yeah no what are you doing I don't well know. people are saying are you still on 1590 well here's the we're interesting in, thing yes we're not oh we're not no french and friends is on right now oh yeah <laughs> you mean so, on the, the people uh, who restart, are watching us start their stream we just fixed it like 20 minutes okay ago. It, uh it, the people it, who are watching us on live yeah are the only ones hearing us Oh, right now. So thank you to Thomas and Ellen and whoever else commented. Thank you very much. Which should uh, you go in live? It should be over the air. It is live on the air. Yeah, tell- and the, the radio part still works. It's the streaming part that got kicked oh, off. Oh, okay. And so the streaming part is back up now, though. So what were we supposed to tell them to do? Reconnect. Thirty. <laughs> Robert, I'm working on it. Robert, I'm working on what you just said. Isn't she's this just, hysterically fun? And she's just streaming this Facebook Live thing. I don't know why. Oh well, she's God. got stars around your head and stuff. Oh, is Someone that asked if I could give you a full head of hair. <laughs> I don't know. What, was that my wife asking to give a full head of hair? Ten. <laughs> Ron, look in the screen. Oh, nice. All right, we'll be back right after this. house <laughs> will return. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, Website, narychicago.org. Just leave it going. It works. For remodeling project success. With a wealth of consumer I think, uh, resources and our the way she's Neary doing this, you, she's going to lose her search. Facebook live Neary privileges. Narychicago.org <laughs> is the only stop you need to make for your remodeling project. Each member of Nary GC is pledged to uphold our code of ethics for <laughs> oh. honest and reliable business practices. Visit Can you Neary turn down the commercials a bit, Ben? Can you see that, Ron? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, there's a nice flower. It's nice flowers on my hair. Thanks. Wait. Oh, this one's good. Look at me. What? Oh, my gosh. That one was creepy. Wait. Wow. There's like a de- pretty good delay, though. Okay. Look at me. So now you just moved. Hold still. Oh, my gosh. Oh, cool. What'd you do? do I, once I move, does it kick it off? Is that what happens? I don't know. That one was kind of cool. I, there. there right you go. there. Okay. There. See, now, if I move... You look like the the Chinese princess, <laughs> <laughs> warlord. Yeah, there you go. So if I move fast, does that make it go away? Yeah. Um, oh, now you just made me into a panda. I'm, 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 there. Oh, there. You go. Oh, see if I move fast, there you go. It makes it it erases it. I mean, that is perfect. <laughs> Uh oh, we're coming back. And we got company. phone calls. Not available in all states. Hey, you do. What brings you to the mall? <laughs> we're just here checking Sorry, on. We got a minute left. Good. Uh, that, uh, you, you reminded me that I needed to get this ready to go. That's good, though. Go. Okay. Are you done? He, she's having a blast with this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know how to just. Oh, I can clear that, right? What's that? Look at show up, Brad. Four two what? four. This is your talk. Do you read me? On 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Chicago. Come on, is anybody even out there? Here I come to save the day. Here they come to save the day. This is Mighty House. Mighty House is brought to you by Mr. Floor. For more information, you can check them out at mrfloor.com. We're broadcasting worldwide and live at mightyhouse.net and tunein.com. Just look for Mighty House. Podcasts and previous shows available at mightyhouse.net, iTunes, SoundCloud, and on home at USA.com. You can find links to all of them at mightyhouse.net. Follow us on Facebook by looking for Mighty House Home Improvement Show, and our Twitter handle is at Mighty House. And give us a call at 847-475-1590. And you'll have a chance to win some great Mr. Floor cleaning products. They're all non-toxic and environmentally safe. And you can learn more at MrFloor.com. And if you want to go to Facebook Live, (laughs) you could check us out on Facebook Live. Because I need more people. I'm trying to get Rich up there. Oh. If I can get a face on Rich. So can you put stars around his head? I'm trying. 
All okay. right, talk amongst yourself. Talk. Um, how about get if we really take? Close. How about if we take a phone call? Okay. And let's get the wires out of the way. So at least Good idea. now on my new phone, where are you going? It's all the further you, you can go. Jeez. <laughs> You're gonna knock your water over here too. Rich, put your face really close. <laughs> she said, "Put your face really close to close to the camera." That's all you're getting. That's all you get right there. I don't think I can do it. No, it's not. It's not picking you up. It won't do it on the screen. Right. Yeah. This is radio, so it's not quite working. <laughs> well, those people here. watching on the so, Facebook know. All right, let's go to yeah. Nick in. Uh, let's go to Nick in Sandwich, Illinois. I'm going to assume. Hey, Nick, you're on Mighty House. Thanks for hanging on. Oh wait, hey uh, Ben, can you turn them up? Hello? Nick, are you there? Uh, I'm not hearing them. They all took off. <laughs> so hang on, Nick. This is perfect. Um, what's perfect? Get, t- try talking into a microphone, would you? It works better that way. I'm having too much fun. Oh, look. <laughs> now I could be seen, now you can... but not be seen. Oh, yeah? Rich, can you see it? No. It's Facebook Live, this no. is awesome. Trixie, can you have them turn on the phones, please? Go get Ben. I know I got him. I got Nick up, but I'm, yes, we're I not hearing him. So I, there's something needs Cute. to be potted up. Uh, see, I don't know. Something's out of whack. <laughs> All right. Me, Robbie's out of whack. So I was looking at the city of Chicago website, okay. and it does not appear that it's for contractors. It looks like still self-certification for. It says the uh, the. Uh, it doesn't say architects, but what was it? Designer of record. Okay. So that goes back to that interior designer licensing kind of thing that they were trying to All right, do. All right, Caller's but... Live. All right, cool. All right, hey, Nick, now you're up. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It was, a, it was a tough tough finding you guys. I have to listen to you on the stream, and it's working now. I, good. Too far out for the, race, for the radio signal, I guess. Okay, but, uh, where are you? Anyway. Yeah, we're working on all that, and they got some new computers that, I don't know, so they dropped out after a couple hours, but we're working on it. It's all good. So I got a question. Uh, we're, we're doing, it's a rental, so uh, <laughs> I'm, not trying to put, I'm not trying to put too much into it. Uh, and it also has uh, knob and tube uh, wiring, too, okay. so it's definitely okay. an interesting uh, home. Um, but we, we, we were, my mother-in-law got a wild hair. Uh, and she decided we, we wanted to um, uh, redo some old linoleum in, a, in one of the bathrooms. So she, we peeled, you know, took off the toilet and everything like that. Now I'm getting ready to put it back together. This all, real quick, this all started on Thursday. And then, <laughs> um, uh, thankfully, we have a second bathroom. But then we just got inundated with a with a head cold and uh, and a bout of the body shivers and flu from my wife. So it was just nice. like a Perfect timing. Perfect so storm. The toilet's still sitting in the tub. <laughs> uh, and the floor's on. The floor's done. It's nice. and getting ready to do the caulk around the edges. And then uh, for, the, for the floor, I'm not going to caulk the toilet. But my question is, I just want to make sure I put that toilet back together right. Okay. Um, so I went and got a new, rack, new wax ring. Um, is there anything else that I need to replace? Maybe should I replace the supply? Because the, the supply... Uh, is actually it's the old style, or it's real stiff. It's not one of those flexible ones. It's it's not a it's well. Not the, a the old chrome tube is actually the nice stuff, but yeah, it's even getting hard to find those because those are like for real plumbers with the <laughs> tools to so, bend them properly. Yeah. So I would just to, to back you up. Okay, you got the wax ring. I would buy a new Johnny Bolt set, the three eighths brass. Don't use the cheapy quarter or five sixteenths. So always use the three eighths brass. Those are better and. Get the long ones so that in case you gotta you know mess with them, um, and they're very easy to cut off with a hacksaw blade, uh, you know just loose hacksaw blade. So that's the one thing. And if you've got the water off, I would replace the stop and that supply line. Yep. Change the valve. Change the change the valve the shut off valve underneath the toilet at the same time. And I use all them quarter turns now. I like those. Yeah. Oh. Quarter so, turn ball so valves. The, um, so I should actually take that stop take that valve off. If you want, right now yeah, is the time to do it. Yeah, turn the water off to the house, yeah, because it's a good time to do it. Yeah, I mean, if it's an old 